Hello there! Now, I'm here to teach you how to transfer your data from your iPhone to your Android device. Before we do that, I have a few steps for you here or a few reminders. Let, let's list them out. Again, uh, first thing is please make sure that both phones or both devices have uh, full battery power. So this is one step, okay? This is one, okay? And then next one is I'm going to ask you to connect them both connect them both with the same Wi-Fi network technically please make sure they are on the same network okay and then once that's done I want you third is make sure that um, the, the, the receiving device in this case the Android device has enough storage okay Perfect. So technically, this is the most crucial three reminders for you. Um, full battery power. And then second one is Wi-Fi network should be the same for both devices. And then third one is the receiving device has enough storage for your data. Again, for this three, they're most crucial. But for me, the most crucial part here is the second one. We cannot proceed without the same network or without the same Wi-Fi connection for both devices. Okay? Please make sure you're connected them with the same device. So these are the notes that I'm asking you to do. If you want to copy them, write them down, please make do so. Now moving on, this is the next step. Please go to your settings. Once on your settings, I want you to check on um, general tab right here. And again, obviously this is my favorite process, software update. Yes, that is correct. Um, every process I make, every process I do, every tutorial I do, um, I always suggest that make sure your iOS is up to date. Why is that? Sometimes iOS uh, hinders or um, how do you say this? Like block certain processes because you're not up to date or something like that. So just make sure that your iOS is up to date. And as of now, mine is 16.4.1. Close it open parenthesis A. I'm recording this video and this is the uh, most updated version of iOS available to be downloaded please make sure your n is if that's that not that while you're watching this make sure that you have the latest version available okay now next step should be go to your iCloud account click iCloud right here and then from here I want you to click on iCloud backup this one right here and once you're here as you can see there is a green button here please make sure your is is green also as mine here I'm turning it on and off right now so you guys can see okay Make sure that is toggled on. Once it's toggled on, I want you to check this one. It says backup now, and there is a note under it. It says last successful backup today at 18:20. That's military time for 6:20, and right now it's 7:30. So I'm not gonna back it up on my end here. But if you're watching this, please back up your phone right now. Back up that data. It will only take around a minute or two. To make sure all of our data are backed up to our iCloud okay once that's done I want you to go back one step and look for this one it says show all click on show all and it will give you all of the apps or shortcuts that needs to be backed up as you can see here most of them the majority of them are backing up so the data from these apps are backed up on my iCloud how can I make sure they're backed up you see this uh, green toggle button if it's turned on, if it's toggled on, it means that these shortcuts are backed up. Any apps here, especially Drive, Gcash, Instagram, so on and so forth. That being said, please make sure or choose whatever apps, data that you want to back up. And then after that, I want you to go back to your iCloud here and then click on Find My. Once you're in Find My, I want you to turn off Find My, okay? Turn this off. I'm not going to turn it off right now because it doesn't really matter on my end, but... I really suggest that you turn it off on your end. Please turn it off. And then, moving forward, that should do it. We're gonna use our Android right now. Again, please make sure that you're connected to the same network and same um, Wi-Fi, right? Once we made sure everything's set here, let me just pro uh, double check. So we already backed up everything. We turned off Find My. We updated our software, right? That should do it. And then from here, let's just uh, put this aside, put my uh, iPhone aside and grab our Android device. Now give me a second here. 
I'm just gonna open or grab my uh, my phone here and here we go this is my Android device right now make sure it's recording perfect now from your Android device I want you to go on settings it should be around here somewhere sorry about that and then from settings I want you to look for accounts and backup it should be this one right here and as you can see there's a uh, option here that says smart switch click on it and it will allow you to download smart switch just download it there's no payment here or subscription just download it it will only take two minutes I think or two minutes max it's just an uh, external app okay so what is smart switch it is a transfer content from your old device including images contacts and messages you can use a USB cable or transfer wirelessly so while using smart switch you can have two options it is transfer via wire a USB cable or wirelessly and in case that's a question for you guys we're gonna use the wireless transfer here we're gonna use the um, wireless to transfer okay now give me a second here it's just installing my uh, smart switch right now and then from here um just click on allow right here and then smart switch just uses this permission something like that it doesn't really matter click on allow now this is what I'm asking for you earlier um, since we're gonna receive our data from your Android and make sure that you have a storage right you can click receive data here and then you can choose which source are we getting it from since we're using our iPad or iPhone click on the middle one so as again there are two options you can use a uh, via USB cable or uh, lightning to USB-C to your Android to iPhone but since um, I don't have that right now I'm gonna use uh, the second option get data for my cloud instead from here I'm just gonna input my iCloud account give me a second okay guys just a second here this is my iCloud right now and the password would be this one I'm just gonna bird this out and from here it will ask a prompt on my iPhone just give that prompt and then as you can see here asking for a code right that code will display on your iPhone um, just copy that code from your this code from your iPhone but do not copy my code uh, your code will be different from my code right here it differs from time to time each access so just input that code and then wait for it to open now from here it's just gonna ask us um, which data are we gonna transfer as you can see here I can choose contacts data for my phone apps the one I'm, I'm asking earlier to choose which apps do you want this is what I'm asking uh, data for my phone apps okay you can choose contacts images videos documents something like that well in this case I'm just gonna choose contacts since the contacts uh, takes the least time hmm, how about this just add documents also but you can choose whatever you want here and once you click transfer it will begin transferring as soon as possible and the good thing here is you don't need to wait on that screen you can go back to your home screen while it's being transferred in the background so let's get back to home screen just wait for it to notify as you can see here um, organizing your transfer one minute something like that and then it will only take around as they say one minute left here again um, make sure before entering this one making sure that process is done please make sure your Wi-Fi is strong and they're connected to the boat device okay that is the most crucial part here and perfect as you can see here download is complete you can just open that and data should be on your Android so again thank you for watching that's how you transfer your iPhone data to your Android please hit the like button and subscribe guys thank you